look back at Psalm chapter 6. Look at verse 1. It says this, O Lord, he says, don't rebuke me in your what? In your anger. So God gets angry. He says, don't, ang- don't uh, rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your rage. Have what? Have compassion. So there's this conflict between anger and compassion. He says, Lord, for I am weak. And he says, what? Heal me. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony. I am sick at heart. How long, O Lord, until you restore me? So what's David doing here? Again, he's repenting. He's seeking forgiveness. And he understands God's anger towards sin. Now, I think we are all a little bit uncomfortable with the idea of God being angry. I know I am. But yet, when I look at the Old Testament and I look at the New Testament, it it talks about God's anger. And I think the reason that we're uncomfortable with it is because we see God's anger through tainted lenses. We're uncomfortable because we don't see it because we have a certain perception of God's anger, and it's really based on people and our surroundings. Take your home life, for instance, and the family I just talked about. Maybe it's your current home life, or maybe the home that you grew up in. Maybe you had an angry parent, or you had an angry spouse, or you had an angry child, or, or maybe it's at work, you have that coworker, or you have a boss, and they got a really short fuse. Or, or maybe it's a coach, you remember a coach grabbing your face mask and just jerking you around the football field in a, just a crazy, angry way. Or just take the current state of our nation and talk about politics, like, just throw out any, any name, uh, any political name right now and watch the anger rise in people. Watch the politicians go at it. Then we have rioting and violence that's just out of control and all that is happening right now in our country. And we see that, and what can happen is, is this is how we can form our view of God. And we see him through these tainted lenses. We see God as angry all the time. We see God is never, ever pleased with me. We see God as like he's got a really short fuse and can't just pop off on me for something that I've done wrong. We see God as as a a tyrant or we see him as oppressive or, man, he just cannot wait to punish me. But can I tell you, that is not who God is. That's not the kind of anger that David's talking about. And I don't know if that's what you've heard about God, but that is not his character. God would say to you right now and is saying to you right now, that is not who I am. I'd like for you to write this down because this is who God is. God's heart is not to hurt me. God's heart is not to hurt me. God's heart is to heal me. 